Hi all. Today's topic is all about work day in Accenture. So guys, recently most of the freshers are receiving work day a mail right before onboarding. So that thing is uh, like recently it is happening because before freshers they haven't received any work day profile in recent months they are receiving. And for experienced candidates, I was not sure whether they are receiving work day profile creation before onboarding or not. And there will be another work day profile of the onboarding where you will be finding very useful things like hiding your mobile number in Teams and also your priority settings and contact details uh, updation so your preferred name uh, changing so all those things will be there so all these things i'll be explaining this in this video guys so how to create your workday profile before onboarding and also after onboarding what sort of uh, things you need to update in your workday profile everything i'll explain in this video please watch it so guys few days before your onboarding you would be receiving a mail from accenture okay in that accenture it contains workday related info so what does it contain means it says like thanks for applying for the role of uh, something ch this is like a code okay suppose application developer or else some other roles it will be mentioning that and also down the line you can see a link okay so this link is used to create an account for yourself in workday okay just like workday profile you can create through this link so here you can have a doubt suppose some of your friends have received this workday profile and you haven't received this mail yet from accenture so what you can think you'd be thinking like okay uh, later in future i might receive this mail so before that only i can take this link from my friend and i'll create that account so if you think like that it is wrong guys so from like when you receive this mail from accenture only this link will be enabled for you then only you can create an account workday profile in accenture so without you are receiving mail from accenture simply you're taking link from your one of your friends and you're creating it is not possible to create so please wait uh, yourself until you receive mail from accenture to create an workday account okay so till then please wait don't try to create before that itself okay a small request from my side guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do subscribe and if you want to ask me any queries in instagram you can follow me and ask your queries i'll definitely answer your questions and also you can subscribe to telegram channel as well for the latest updates now let us see the steps to create the workday profile now uh, the mail that you received from Accenture right please open that mail uh, which contains the workday one so in that you can see the link right so this is the link to create your account once click on this link so once you click that you will be receiving a page like this where it asks to create your account here you need to mention your email address that you registered with Accenture then your password and also verify password and down the line there will be an agreement checkbox you can read that and click on checkbox and then submit it so with this like you can create account yourself for your work day after then you will be receiving another mail from accenture in order to verify i mean your created account okay this is just like a verification mail for your account so this will be valid till 24 hours only within 24 hours you need to verify your account okay after successful verification once you log in into your workday profile right here you can see like uh, to do and completed so to do are nothing but the tasks that you need to complete and once you complete the task those will be moved to your completed uh, section okay now let us see what tasks you need to complete so here the first task is your term of employment okay in this term of employment you can open and if there is any agreement such things you can approve it or else agree it then you can see next thing is your offer letter guys so uh, hope they would uh, all ask you to some accept the offer letter or else it's just for view purpose uh, it would be there so third section is nothing but your document collection where they will be asking you to update your pan details okay here you need to update your pan details with this the to do tasks you can complete it okay as soon as you log in into workday portal for the first time please try to complete these tasks as soon as possible okay once this is completed you can scroll down you can see the uh, things like active or inactive so your profile would be active here because they only uh, mailed you right for the workday profile so here you can see your active profile guys so once you see your active profile you can uh, see many things like what is your job title what is your job requirement okay and what is your application status so just a uh, few days or few months before you have completed your interview so that status they can mention okay and also date submitted will be there 
and coming to the action part you can see here few options guys once you click on this three dots right you can see few options so the first one is your view application you can view your application and view tasks so whatever you completed those things and third one is if you don't want to continue with accenture you can click on withdraw application so these things please be careful while uh, clicking the button so unfortunately if you click withdraw option it would be uh, harmful to you so try to be careful while uh, you are looking into the options now let us move to the next section update contact details guys so once you click here update contact details you will be moving to this page where it will be asking you to mention your country okay so the nationality and also you need to give your uh, full name okay i mean the main name without surname and last name and then it will be asking you for the middle name and last one is your surname click on agreeing thing checkbox and also you can submit it okay with this you have completed creation of your workday profile guys but there is another thing like after onboarding you could see a different workday profile okay which is very useful for you guys please don't skip this so after uh, onboarding right there will be a workday profile guys so in accenture once you go to the all sec portal you can find this thing so once click on that workday profile where you can see the profile section right so please click on that profile section you can see a uh, whole my report so many things right but please click on the view profile okay once you click on that view profile you will be redirected to this page guys where you can see a left side section like summary overview career performance personal and also contact section so in this section only you can uh, you know you, if you want to change your name okay full name to some other name suppose my name is like savipa sain let us think i don't want my surname to be displayed on the team's channel let us hope so it would be like savipa s yes, i want so here i can modify this is the portal where you can modify and also uh, some people don't want to display their phone numbers on the team's channel right because uh, if your manager or pocs they could they would know your mobile number if you're not uh, pinging on uh, i mean if you're not responding on teams they would call to your personal numbers or, or else some people for security purpose also they don't want to display their phone numbers so in this uh, workday portal only you can hide your mobile number as well so so many things you can do it here let us see each section in detail so the first section here is summary so in this summary you can see your people lead okay uh, most of the people will be asking me where can i find my hr where can i find my poc or like that right so this is the section where you can see your poc and also other details like your location and manager and you can even add your skills like uh, what you are good at and also the job title and also which level which management level is allocated to you that thing and your contact info everything you can see here guys so this is the section where you can find your uh, people leads like that and now let us move to the next section which is nothing but the overview section so overview section consists of uh, your resume guys okay whatever the resume you have uh, attached while applying for accenture that thing and uh, another info and also digital cv is nothing but uh, after joining into accenture you will be creating one page resume right i hope you remember so this will be passed to different projects in accenture in order to get you allocated so that uh, cv everything you can see here and also if you want to update your resume so when you apply your skills are different and now your skills are different you can update your resume or cv like that so now let us move to the third section which is nothing but the career so in this career section you can see so your interest uh, on what topics and also any relocations you have done uh, so far uh, so basically this workday profile will be you know if anyone wants to hire you to their project they will see your workday profile so they could see like if you have done any relocations in your career with accenture like that and also in skills like in each section what is your skill and what is your level okay suppose in java you are uh, having your skill and the level is uh, like a uh, three or two what is your level in that and also education details okay of your uh, what all the background that till your graduation so all those details they can see and also learnings that you have done everything like certifications so far so this is the section where they can see your career and next thing is the performance guys so performance section i hope you are familiar with this so before uh, giving hikes right i 
every manager or POC, they will be asking you to add the priorities. So once you add these priorities, it will be more to your POC or manager or else people lead or else a uh, team lead like that, right? So these people will provide you the points. I mean, ratings like that, they will be providing you. And also down, they will be providing you the comments. If you are really good developer, they will be appreciating you. Or if you are lacking something, if you're not doing well, they will be asking you. I mean, they are suggesting you in the remarks, like, please perform this way. You need to learn these skills. You need to do more work like that. They will be providing. And based on this ratings and uh, comments only, we'll be getting the high guys. So this is the section where you will be adding your priorities okay now let us move to the next section which is personal as i previously told you that uh, you can change your uh, original name to some preferred name right so here is the section guys where they will be asking you to enter your original name okay based on your documents right or pan other so those documents uh, whatever it is there that name they will ask you to mention okay so once after you mention that in the original name section, like your legal name, then they will be asking you to enter your preferred name. So what name you want to get displayed in the team's channel or outlook like that. So here down the line, the preferred name section, whatever name you want uh, them to call you, you can uh, edit, uh, click on edit option and you can enter that name, then you can update it. So this is the way guys where you can uh, make your original name change to your prefer name so that's a purpose you can use here and also other details like your personal details like dob what is your marital status gender age and also other documents that you have uploaded all those things you can view here or else any recruiter also can see it in your workday profile now let us move to the next section which is nothing but the contact details so contact details you might think it is not useful for you guys uh, but it is very essential uh, first thing uh, that uh, will be helpful to you is you can hide your mobile number in teams channel so for that purpose it will be useful and also when you are resigning from accenture right so in order to uh, apply for your resignation this workday profile contact section plays a key role okay please uh, watch this section carefully so the first section is your home contact information. So here uh, they will be asking you to enter your address guys. So you need to mention your address and usage is nothing but home because you are mentioning home address right. So that's why usage is home and visibility is private. If you want uh, other recruiters to view your home address you can keep public or else you can keep private. FAQ date is from which date you are into that address you can mention that date. So next thing in home contact is your phone number. Uh, you can provide your phone number and usage is for home. Okay. So visibility is also private or personal. You can keep whatever you want because this is home contact. And next thing is your email address. You can provide personal email address. And also this will be also usage home and visibility will be based on your thing. Okay. If you want it to be public, then keep public or else private. Okay. Now let us move to the very important section, which is nothing but your work contact info. Okay, so in this work contact info only, you can hide or else uh, make it visible in your teams, your phone number. Okay, the same thing guys, your work address will be your company office address and usage is business and visibility, you can, uh, it would be obviously public. So nothing to hide, right, your uh, work location. And next thing is, so effective date would be like the office address from when you have joined that date will be there and phone number here if you want uh, see definitely you need to keep your office phone number here you need to enter it so usage will be work but if you want if you don't want any others to view your mobile number please keep visibility as private if you want everyone to view your mobile number then you can keep it as public okay then next one is email address so Accenture email address would be obviously public so it will be uh, visibility will be public so apart from this home contact and work contact info even you will be having an emergency contacts option as well so this is the section guys so here you need to uh, uh, keep in mind that when you are keeping resignation right so this work contact info home contact info is must okay if you haven't updated your contact details here you can't apply resignation so try to make your workday profile updated not for the resignation purpose but also if a recruiter want to hire you for their project in accenture internal projects then also they will look after your workday profile so keep it updated with your latest skills resumes contact info preferred names whatever you want so try to keep it updated 
so guys uh, i hope with this video you have understood like before onboarding how to create workday profile i hope this workday profile is not only for freshers uh, because only freshers have informed me that they have received this uh, workday profile question because when i onboarded into accenture they haven't asked me to create workday profile before onboarding so after onboarding only uh, i just uh, open that workday profile so uh, you can uh, the experienced candidates can ping in the comment section whether they are receiving this mail or not so after onboarding what steps you need to take in order to update your profile i hope you understood with this video so try to create your account and uh, verification mail uh, for the account please try to complete it within 24 hours and i uh, hope you will be receiving it soon guys without receiving mail don't try to create this account okay uh, i hope uh, everything is clear if you like this video please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do subscribe this channel and whatever sort of queries you have please comment in the comment section and if you want to ask me personally you can ping me on instagram through following and also subscribe to telegram channel as well and and please share this video to the friends who need this uh, badly okay <laughs> thanks for watching take care